fear. Or to simply put it, fear is the belief that God is not with you. You of little faith. You see, the interesting thing about fear is that even though it's like a shadow and accompanies you wherever you go, fear is a choice. Yeah, I said it's fear is a choice. It's a choice between saying yes in the face of opposition when you can't see the rationale. All living in the grace of not trying are remaining driven by the lies you so easy by. What we tend to do in the past, we all know what the common choice is. Because we walk about like cats, like we have nine lives. But leave you will be with the next life. But why are we never praying enough for today? We always say tomorrow. And hope by tomorrow, fear will be gone. But God tells us tomorrow is not even promising. You see, that's where we've all gone wrong. He wants us to be brave today, to be brave right now. You see, the voice of fear will always be present in situations where there is an opportunity to be brave. See, even Peter, who walked with the Savior himself, almost said yes to bravery until the waves of fear began to wave at him and wasn't even sure if Jesus was with him anymore. And so he sunk. And fear won. You of little faith. See, that's how it works. Bravery is simply an exchange. An exchange of fear for faith. And our faith in Jesus comes with a peace. An inner peace that requires all fears. A peace that confronts, not one that backs up or backs out. But a peace that comes with bravery. Bravery to say, 